waiting for this my whole life. The answer is C. A bowl of spiders. Correct. <laughs> Don't go in there. It's dangerous. Everyone, you're welcome to yet another exciting week of movie review brought to you by Business Day. As usual, my name is Linda. Today, I'll be talking about a very interesting, nice animated comedy movie called Hotel Transylvania 3. What can I help you with, Lord of Darkness? I'm looking for a date. The date is Friday, July 13th. No, no. I want to meet someone. Understood. You want to eat dim sum. Don't you get it? I want to go on a date. I'm lonely. I understand. You want baloney. Uh. So, this week, Hotel Transylvania 3, if you've been following through for kids and parents who've got young teenagers. It started in 2012, where you had Hotel Transylvania 1, 2015, where you had Hotel Transylvania 2, and 2018, where you had Hotel Transylvania Summer Vacation 3. Now, it was a very interesting story, simple storyline. Of course, you had enough singing, dancing, music, and animation cartoon. Many eyes, too few eyes, not into tentacles. Dad? No, maybe. You're stressed out from working too hard. You need a vacation from running everyone else's vacation. And I know just how to fix it. This movie was directed and written by Grandi Tramvenko, about 97 minutes long, and it talked about a family going on a vacation. A peek into the movie. So, the first scene talked about Mervy is trying to convince her father, Draco, going on a vacation with all the hotel crew. And it was really exciting to see everyone go on a very, very big ship to the Bermuda Triangle. And I was wondering to myself, why did they choose that location anyway? I really didn't find an answer to that. But the story was interesting because along the line, Draco, who had never fallen in love after he lost his wife, fell in love with Erica, who the letter found out was evil. It's Drac. A cruise? Ooh. Surprise! Oh, no, 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 no. Dad! <laughs> okay, smile. Check it out, Dad. There's so much to do. Olympic size swimming pool. I got this. Oh, you can eat for face. Full service spa. Uh, yeah, so impressive. It's like a hotel on the water. So Erica was putting up something really dangerous that was going to destroy all the monsters together so that herself and her great-grandfather could take over everything. But as love would have it, Erica also found, fell in love with Draco along the line because he was nice to her, he cared for her, and he saved her. And Erica didn't go ahead with destroying all the monsters. She actually went ahead in destroying her father and saving the monsters. A very sweet storyline. There's so much to do. You could go scuba diving. Or just enjoy the view. Who is that? Ooh. 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 Yeah. Ooh. Okay, Dad, thank you. <laughs> One thing for me I did learn apparently from the movie where the lessons learned, you know, family is important. It's also very important to love. And number three, you actually can't even choose who you fall in love with. But if you're nice, you can actually make them change. It was a very good story to my verdict. I will say the movie deserves an 8 over 10. Ahoy there! I am Captain Erica. You must be the one and only Dracula. There's something about an accent that makes a man sound so intelligent. Now, for family or parents looking for where to take their kids to this holiday, I think Hotel Transylvania is an amazing movie to watch with your kids. I did learn a lesson or two, even as an adult, and I feel that you would also learn one too. So make sure you do take your kids this holiday before it goes off the cinema. If you do want to stand the chance to win a ticket this week, my question will be, what was the voice of Griffin? I want you to tell me the real person who was behind the scene and whose voice was used as Griffin. You nailed it, honey. Best summer vacation ever. Also, make sure you do subscribe to Business Day NG. When you subscribe, follow us across our social media handles, which are Business Day NG on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Till I see you again next week. Thank you. You were right, great grandfather Van Helsing. Monsters are disgusting. Aww. Aww.